Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom and we're going to be concluding our series on explanations of reflexology with the theory that can be proven. It's the uh, two medical conditions that uh, we are allowed to say that reflexology can help with as far as the advertising standards authority is concerned and that is to do with circulation and with stress and so we are allowed to quite simply say reflexology is proven to help with circulation and we are allowed to say that reflexology is able to help with stress now this is absolutely fabulous because if let's look at the circulation first If we are pumping blood around the body in a more effective way, we are going to be delivering those essential nutrients and that essential oxygen to the tissues of the body. Is somebody going to be feeling better if they've had good delivery of nutrients and oxygen and therefore, by inference as well, good take-up of all of the toxins and waste products from those body tissues too. Hmm, let me think about this. Yes, they are. They're going to feel a whole lot better if their circulation is good. And we know that uh, reflexology can boost circulation. There's quite a few studies that have been done. The first one that comes to mind is a study that was done a couple of years ago called uh, Reflexology Has an Acute Hemodynamic Effect. In other words, you do reflexology on the heart area and actually the heart was shown to respond to that work. Also, my good friend Tony Porter um, was telling me that in the, the past, he did some work in one of the London hospitals and they were looking at the effect that reflexology had using Doppler imaging. So for example, when he was working on the kidney re- reflex point, circulation seemed to be targeted towards the kidneys and likewise with other organs as well. So this is absolutely fabulous that we can say that reflexology has a good effect on circulation. The other one, of course, is reflexology being a de-stressing therapy. 80% of all conditions have their root in stress. So if we're going to be able to de-stress our clients, then we've got a good chance of being what is known as preventative healthcare. In other words, we're going to be keeping our clients healthy and free from those conditions that have their root in stress. So overall, to have a complementary therapy that is helpful for stress and good circulation, I think actually reflexology is pretty damn cool. Now, one thing that I would just say as a concluding remark, when it comes to you explaining reflexology to your client, do choose an explanation that you understand well yourself and that you believe in yourself. If you try to give an explanation of reflexology to a client and either you're not 100% sure about it or you don't actually really believe it yourself, that's going to come across rather than a good explanation of reflexology. Somebody said to me once that someone that can explain something in a really, really simple manner obviously understands what it is they're trying to explain. If something comes across as really complicated when you're listening to somebody explaining it, the inference is they don't really understand it properly themselves and that's why they're not able to explain it clearly and simply. So with the explanations that I've given over this little series, do choose what resonates with you. Do choose what you find easy to understand so that you too can give a really clear, simple explanation that A, your client is going to be able to understand and B, that they will then think, hey, yes, 
this does make sense. Finally, um, I know I've probably not covered, in fact, I absolutely know I've not covered all of the explanations of reflexology in this little series. Part of the reason for that is I do know of many, many other theories of explanation. But just going back to what I've said, do I believe in them? Mm, not some of them. Am I clear about them? Mm, not some of them. Do I understand them? No. But you might. So here's the invitation. If you've got a really good explanation of reflexology that we haven't covered here, do please send me a video and I will put it up on Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom about your explanation of reflexology. I'm not promising I'll put everybody's up. Um, <clears throat> just a couple of things. Do please make sure that you send your video landscape, not portrait. Okay, because this is for YouTube. So send it to me landscape and the video will probably be quite a, a few hundred megabytes in size. So do um, send it using something like WeTransfer. If you try to email it, it just simply won't come through. So I do look forward to hearing from some of you and hearing your explanations of reflexology. And like I say, if, if the video quality is good enough, and if you do send it landscape, etc., then um, we will pop it on. So until I see you next week for more Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Do stay well, stay safe, and do remember to like and subscribe to this channel because it really helps with the algorithm. Mm -hmm.